chargeable expenses it is nothing but direct expenses in the costing your income tax will not come donation will not come debenture interest will not come these three we consider as financial item work in progress comes under what factory a warm welcome to one and all this is your other sir here lecturing with us from first grade college the temple of excellence and now we are in the session 4 of your unit 2 and the topic is called cost sheet now in the previous session we done with your theory topic as well as we completed two problems on cost sheet as i told you the first problem what we discussed that was a basic one and a problem to what we done in the previous session that is your question paper problem now in today's session we go again one more question paper problem similar kind of question you can expect in your examination now your yeah, agenda is very simple we do problems on your cost sheet but today's session will do only one problem on cost sheet so that you will understand better your problem number 3 from the following particular prepare a statement of cost for the month of october 2012 so these are the information we have right now as i told you until you learn we have to make a category of 1 2 3 4 so that you will understand better later we'll go by looking at that we will understand which category it will come now from the following particular prepare statement of cost sheet in this we have raw material work in progress finished goods chargeable expenses wages of labors oil grease and waste factory power depreciation like office plant and machinery repairs of plant and machinery and furniture and we have lighting of factory and office so we have continuation rent of office showroom factory and manager salary like 3/4 for factory 1/4 for office we will do all this calculation in today's session director remuneration printing and stationery salesman salary postage and fax advertisement purchase of raw material carriage outward carriage inward wages of foreman income tax donation debenture interest warehousing charges sales commission sale of finished goods these are the information we have in your question now we'll classify as you know that what is the classification classification number 1 classification number 2 class classification number 3 and classification number 4 the classification we have like number 1 it is all about direct second it is factory and the third one it is office and the fourth one it is selling and distribution expenses direct factory office and selling now keep the format with you so that it, you will understand better so whatever items are here whatever the headings are here whatever expenses are cost we have whether it comes under 1 2 3 4 you will understand better now raw material raw material see your format all the raw material comes under where 1 this is this comes under 1 work in progress work in progress comes under what factory factory comes under what two what is the next one finished goods finished goods comes under where as you know that finished goods comes under your office and administration so it will come under what third one your chargeable expenses chargeable expenses comes where yes chargeable expenses it is nothing but direct expenses again i'll repeat chargeable expenses it is nothing but direct expenses so it will come under one wages of labor again the same thing wages of labor have they mentioned it is a direct or indirect no nothing is mentioned means we should consider it as direct expenses so it will come under one oil grease and waste 
oil grease and which comes under factory so it will be what two factory power the name itself mentioned that factory so it will come under two your depreciation of office building they have mentioned it as office so office means what it will be your third one plant and machinery depreciation on plant where do we use all your machineries in the factory factory comes under your plant and machinery second one repairs your plant and machinery they have repaired machinery comes under what factory so it will come under second your furniture furniture comes under what your furniture comes under like on furniture there is a depreciation or repairs so furniture we use it in the factory or office in the office we use so it will be what your office third one lighting of factory if they mention factory means it is a second one factory overhead they have mentioned office office mentioned as third one see lighting there are two expenses one is for factory one is for office factory goes for two office goes for three why i am mentioning all these numbers as i told you these are the numbers 1 2 3 4 in your course sheet you have four steps each steps instead of writing the words i have used numbers now up to this we completed i'll go for the next one rent 1 2 3 office will go for third one showroom will go for fourth one showroom means what selling purpose it will go for selling and distribution factory will go for two next manager salary salary they have given see why they have given one expense for two category why because we have a, we have only one manager the one manager will manage even the factory also even the office also we are paying him salary of around 40 5000 how do we classify how much for factory how much for office depends on the time spent by him if he spend more time in the office so it will be more if he spended less time in the factory it will be less depends on the time he has given to the factory as well as office now factory it is 3 by 4 and office it is 1 by 4 whatever 45000 we have like 45000 into 3 by 4 45000 into 1 by 4 it will be 30000 and it will be like 15000 30000 for factory 15000 for office hope you understood yes like this you are supposed to do up to this we completed you know that it will go to factory and this will go for office now director's remuneration director will be seated where whether he is in factory whether he is in godown no he will be in office that's why the director remuneration always go where office what is office third one printing and stationery where do you keep all the printing and stationery your photocopy machine or your printing machine and all you will keep it in the factory or office office that's why it will come under office salesman salary salesman needed for what selling purpose what is the fourth one selling and distribution expenses yes this will come for four postage and fax where the postage and happens in the office so it will be three advertisement your selling purpose so it will be four purchase of raw material again go back your first step in the first step we go for purchases so it will be what number 1 carriage outward remember carriage inward means first step outward means last step now carriage inward as i told you first step wages of foreman what who is foreman foreman is a he is nothing but a manager the head in the factory so many workers will be there 
one person will manage all those one person will direct will guide those people that salary we call it as foreman this will come under factory next income tax donation debenture interest remember these three we call it as financial items we are doing final accounts or cost sheet we are doing cost sheet in the costing your income tax will not come donation will not come debenture interest will not come these three we consider as financial item financial item we don't consider in cost sheet now warehouse charges where do we take warehouse charges remember your warehouse charges comes under selling and distribution sales commission selling and distribution sale of finished goods this is your total sales hope you got this now now i'll give you on homework not it is like homework without seeing answer keep this with you take screenshot and work out yourself so that you can match with the right answer i'll go out of the screen just take a screenshot yes this is your question continuation yes you have all the information now now you are supposed to work out this problem work out this problem and check whether your answer is perfect now now i'll go to your answer this is your answer cost sheet for the year ended 31st march 2012 now already we have marked and we bifurcated which comes under 1 2 3 4 it is very simple wherever i have mentioned 1 all goes to step 1 wherever i mentioned to everything goes to step 2 wherever i mentioned 3 and 4 it will go to respective third one as well as fourth one now we'll go one by one step 1 what do we have like we have raw material 1 chargeable expenses 2 wages of laborers 3 and we have oil and one more is what not this one this will go to factory so 3 and yes almost we have 3 and one more carriage in what is that 4 we have almost four items in category 1 see opening stock of raw material purchases carriage in what your closing stock we will minus and the wages and chargeable expenses we consider what is your prime cost 16 lakh 26000 your prime cost is 16 lakh 26000 now see whatever we taken raw material we taken chargeable expenses we taken wages of laborer and anything else yes we took carriage in what these are the things we have taken in your first step now so once we done with this we'll go for your step 2 step 2 you have oil grease factory power depreciation repair factory lighting factory rent factory manager salary as i told you the calculation now your wages of foreman opening stock of work in progress and closing stock of work in progress now go back yes so 1 2 3 so in this what happens this 45000 belongs to your rent of factory rent of factory now we'll hear what happens your 30000 will goes to office 15000 will goes to showroom 45000 will goes for factory whatever calculation we have done here we should do this calculation for this one 36000 now if you take this 36000 instead of 45 take 36 take 36 do the calculation 36000 into 3 by 4 36000 into 1 by 4 now if you do this calculation you will not get 30000 you will get around 27 Now I'll go to your answer. Yes, you got twenty 
seven. And the next one will be not fifteen thousand. It will be nine thousand. Hope you are clear. So while doing calculation, I took the amount of forty five. But if you go for the row, it will be thirty six thousand is actually calculation. I have done calculation for forty five. Please change the calculation for thirty six thousand. Hope you are clear. Good. Now. So if you do this calculation for thirty six thousand, it will be what? Your calculation twenty seven thousand and wages all put together plus opening stock of work in progress minus closing stock of work in progress. Add everything, you will get answer of eighteen lakh twelve. Now. Your second step is over. What is that? Factory overhead. You have to do a small correction. That what is that correction? While doing calculation, it is not on forty-five. It should be on thirty-six. If we go with the row. Your office and overhead. See whatever we have marked. Everything we have taken. I'll go back to your question. As per your question, see whatever step three. Finished goods. Then we have office building, lighting of office, your rent of office, then everything. So everything we should consider. So we have considered all the office related item. Add everything. It will be one lakh eighty six thousand. After adding, it will be eighteen lakh twelve thousand. So after eighteen lakh twelve, opening stock of work in progress. Closing stock of work in progress. Do all this calculation. You will get eighteen lakh forty two. Clear? These things are easy because once you know that what is one two three four, it will be easy for you for calculation. And the last step is your office is over. Your selling and distribution. Add all the selling and distribution. Your final answer is. Twenty one lakh sixty is given. Twenty lakh thirty two will be your total. From selling, you minus this, you will get one lakh twenty seven five hundred. Again, I'll show you. Twenty one lakh sixty thousand minus twenty lakh thirty two five hundred. Your answer is one lakh twenty seven five hundred. Hope you are clear. So don't scratch your head. How come we got one lakh twenty-seven five hundred? You got like your selling price twenty-one lakh sixty. From twenty-one lakh sixty minus your total cost, you will get your profit. Remember, this is your balancing figure. What is this balancing figure? Now. So we have done with all the calculation. As I told you, we have to make a note. What is that note like? Labor means it is a direct wages. We have taken income tax, debenture interest, all finance donation. All we consider as financial expenses for cost sheet purpose. You are supposed to ignore. Now, so these things you remember. You have to read out the amount like this. You have to read out amount. Like this, so it will be easy for you for your calculation. Like this, you have to read out. So please work out before go to your answer. Please work out as per the numbers we mark. So work out, check your answer, cross verify with the actual answer. Now I'll go out of the screen. Please take screenshot. So problem number three, question, continuation, your solution part, second part of your solution, third part of your solution. This is the last part of your solution. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Like these kind of problems, you will get in your examination. Please work out. These kind of problems. It is very important for your exam purpose. In the next session, like your fifth session, again we'll go similar kind of question. If possible, we go with the cost per unit column also. Cost per unit column so far we have not worked out. In the next session, we'll try to work out even cost per unit column also. Thank you.